Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief It's justice. a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, very, very <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Okay, I'm an advocate of straight talk. Time to stop beating about the bush. Education revamps culture. The last time we had stories this scandalous and shameful emanating from Nigeria's presidency was when President Yar Adwa was ill. He could not be brought out of the plane that flew him back into the country for fear he might give up, or that we would see that he had in fact given up. So a cabal hijacked his job, kept out good luck Jonathan, the vice president, from taking over. We were being ruled by a dying man. His wife had fingers pointed at her as a major player in this dastardly plot. One would think we have grown a bit by now. Well, here we are. They say the president, Major General Buhari, was to take on a new wife, one of his cabinet ministers. They say his wife rushed back from a two-month long trip abroad, ostensibly to protect her position. Then some close relatives of the general, who appear to have taken up residence at the official quarters of the president, arranged for her to be locked out of her home. One of them, Fatima, leaks a video of the first lady in angry mode and then proceeds to attack her in an interview with the BBC. In all this, Mr. President appears unaware. If Boris Johnson had not gotten into a fight with his girlfriend and still win the British Prime Ministership, I'd have said only in Nigeria. But give it to Northern Nigeria. This is not good for them. It is not good for the image of their traditional family arrangements and their religious dogmas. It's really bad. What it shows is that we have voted wrong. It shows that we are given poor choices to select from. It shows that it is time to clean up. It is time to revolutionize our ways and our customs. It shows that there are inherent deficiencies in the way we are educated and prepared to run our nation. Though just about every Nigerian agrees that this is so, there are some who sell out for money and position, and others who feel helpless to the situation. I think the last is the more realistic problem we have to tackle. We need to educate people more, formally and informally especially in the northern areas which lag behind here. Education is knowledge, is power. It is important for the overhaul of cultural systems and traditions. You can, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know, I feel I, I'm trying to sort of draw a connection between the first part of your advocate and right. the last part of your yeah. advocate because right. you told the story about the first lady mm. And I felt like I needed to even clarify some points about that story, mm. you know, if you permit Please me. Please do. Yes. Because um, she, she, yes, Aisha Buhari came back, mm. um, but we don't necessarily know if she came back to protect any position. No, Aisha I, I, uh, I, I, I know what you're saying. I'm say. just saying, let me, Which you know. Is the whole point. And then also that video that we saw was actually an old video. It mm -hmm. was, I think, from two yeah, years ago. Yes, I know. Oh, yes, yeah. it's an old video. Okay, yeah, yeah. just yeah. so that people know. This, yeah. So they don't see, yeah. think it's like a connection, yeah. connection, connection. Yeah. Um, yes, it's crazy that people who are n not direct, like, nuclear members of the president's family are living in Aso Rock at our expense, obviously, because we are feeding them everything. Correct. And they have the audacity to take, you know, film the first lady losing her mind and then go to the BBC and talk about it. But that's another story. Now, what I want to understand is the connection between that story and I think the, I know the connection. The last bit. So if you can please explain should, should that let me, to let me, me let me let me say oh, what you, I think is the know, connection okay. in case I'm, Yeah, because for me, there is a connection in the sense that 
I feel, I, I talked to someone recently who said the problem with Nigeria is that we're not real about our problems, therefore we're not real about the solutions. Right. Mm -hmm. So we, and then recently I was listening to something about the baby factories. There's a kind of hypocrisy mm -hmm. we play, and I link it to religion. Again, coming to the sex for grace, there's so many connections there. Right. Mm -hmm. So you find that, you know, you, you, you can't have a child but you don't want to go and adopt because you want to feel as if it's your it's child. Yours, so you yes. go and go through a baby factory because you want and to now pretend. Mm -hmm. you know? so, so there's a lot of hypocrisy in the way we live our lives and our double standards. So he brought in the Boris Johnson still. He had a spat with his girlfriend. It was on the news, but it didn't stop people voting for him mm. because they could separate Boris Johnson, the man, and maybe the Boris Johnson they feel will deliver for them. Right. You know, here, we're busy mixing issues, whether it's tribalism, whether it's one, you know, so we're not even able to say, this is the person that will solve our problems. We'll go and bring in someone who's not really a technocrat, and then you start wondering why that person doesn't have a clue about how to be creative. Mm. Yeah. For me, what came to my mind is, if I'm in a plane that's about to crash, and you ask me who I want at that helm, I don't care whose brother he is, as long as he can fly that plane. You know, I'm not going to look for someone who is my brother, who speaks my language. Because at the end of the day, you want someone who will navigate that airplane out of, you know, the chaos. But if you're busy putting someone at the helm who, because he's, you're doing rotation system, you're doing all kinds of crazy, I don't know what, what basis you're judging. I'm not trying to say disqualify our president on that basis. I'm just trying to say, what were the considerations when we go to the polls? We need to be enlightened. We need to know what the issues are. You're hearing now about Edo State uh, elections. Mm. And instead of hearing, you know, what is Obaseke putting on the table? Yes. What is it? You're hearing about thugs going to beat up. Oh, you, know, you know, that's not what we want to be discussing yeah. at this time. We want you to be tabling okay. your now, manifesto. You know that? So if the now masses are more enlightened and they start campaigning yeah. on that basis, mm. what are you going to do about our roads? Mm. We're not interested in you being our brother. How are you going to fix that? We're not sure that you being, you know, just tell us your pro how you're going to solve our problems. Right. Then we start calling the shots. And that's why I'm on mm. this page. I'm like, mm. we need to be enlightened, more socially aware, more politically aware, more activist, more understanding of the links between the people at the helm and our lifestyle. Right. Then we'll become more demanding of them. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's where So if what, if what you're saying or what I think I'm hearing you mm. say is that we need more authenticity as a nation. Which will we, come with education which and Which will come with education and enlightenment. And enlightenment. And, and, and also what the way are you, what you talk, because you made that connection to the villa, were you talking about the fact that it was, there was like an abuse of office, really. Mm. Yes. Having all those people family living, members, yes. family members living in Asso Rock anyhow, and yes. even feeling like they have the power to, yes. <laughs> to stay yeah. there. Yes. Okay, I yes. get you now. And um, I mean, it's just so sordid and... Mm. I'm just, it's just not what we want to hear yeah, coming it's, from it's there. Not, not, not at this time. It's like major, major yeah, we have issues of state trillion on the table. Mm. That uh, do we have budget, then. we have uh, uh, minimum wage, mm. a whole lot yeah. of minimum yeah. wage. issues. And so I think also it shows that the president is not in control. I totally mean, how can he be in control and they'll be d talking to his wife in the manner in which filming her, yeah. going to the press. I mean, this is his nephew's family, family that yeah. is treating the first lady Go like to that. Think of it. Are you really surprised? No. I am not okay, surprised. Why aren't you surprised? But that, that is his nature. Really? I thought I mean, we, we, we voted in him thinking he was a disciplinarian. He, he doesn't talk. He doesn't talk into matters that you, sometimes you will expect that, oh, my president too. Way in on this man. He will not. Out. You won't hear anything this, from him. This, that this is the way he is. Been out in the first place if he had managed mm. his home the yeah. way he ought to. I, I'm, I'm going to say something very controversial, and I hope I will yeah, be more than what we've said so far. <laughs> shot by the, by the panel. Take it to the next I level. actually believe that our president has dementia. Oh. And so I therefore okay, fear... Okay, caveats, we don't know for sure. And we, and we don't know for sure, but I'm coming from a medical, from a medical, medical um, position. Exactly. I'm a psychiatrist, mm. and yeah. oh, my right. business is yes. mental illness, mental disorder, and that includes ah. dementia. Mm. And I actually think that many of the, shall I say, inverted commas, short callings, and I'm not being disrespectful of our president, is because the mental ability is no longer mm. there. Mm. I still think back to a couple of years ago when there was all this well Ferrari about the bedroom, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Yeah. And I remember not being sitting in London thinking, yes, you, you know, you may like Buhari, you may not like his politics, but I always remembered him back in the day as being very cultured. And I thought he wasn't somebody who was um, deliberately provocative. And one of the symptoms of dementia, the subtle ones at the beginning, is your social cues go. You, you don't quite say the things you should or deal with. And mm -hmm. so I think that many of the things that we're saying are as an end result of him not being totally cognitively right. intact. Correct. And so therefore, no wonder that the relatives can, you know, insult the first doing. lady and things are going on in the country and it appears like our president is not in control. Mm. Correct. But yes, I know that's quite a controversial I'm glad, view. I'm glad you're flying out after <laughs> no, that statement. <laughs>
you're, I am. You're still a doctor. You're just, yeah. you're just giving <laughs> an opinion. Yes, and I'm yes. not a politician, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. maybe I need to check out quickly right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're paid for your stay, don't worry. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. No, this is, yeah. no, but I, I agree with you entirely because there is <laughs> something not very, very... checking out the country. No, I'm not. I will still be here. So be careful what you say. No, no, you can't. What no, but it? we the masses, I'm with well, you on the fact that please, we the masses please, are yes. to blame for a lot of the things that uh, are happening. You right. know, we should be more informed, we should be more, more assertive as to what you we want. Us it's, it's not that 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 yeah. You can't blame us if education is has really not been provided at for the us. State it's levels. Not. As far as yeah. making choices about who leaders is concerned. Mm. I learned that there was even no fire, okay. fire vehicle to... to to deal with Imagine on a child. Oh my well, what are we talking about? Okay. Yeah. So let's even yeah. start at the state level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's time for you to educate us as concerns your take on our advocacy. So on hashtag sex for grades, Ada Brown says setting people up for sexual harassment is not alien to Western culture where there's more sanity on such blatant abuse as we see in ours. So wonder, wondering how we can stay in the right middle place and not tip over the other side. Also on sex for grades, Olamide Raphael says it's not a worldwide crisis. Stupid things like sexual harassment do happen in America, Canada, and the British universities, and even other Western countries, albeit the law protects the vulnerable. Yes, there can be some form of abuse, but the culprits are jailed here in the Western world, but in Nigeria, they are hardly brought to book. On Get a Life Nigeria, Ade Joke Lores Odunsi says, the death of comments to this very honest take on the ills of Nigeria is telling. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Fala Shade is calling for action. 40 seconds of action to be exact. 